Can I get a little commission for the shirt? <laughs> that says, Team Edwards, you'll always be my Bella. It was my birthday a couple of days ago and uh, my friends have a wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> A couple of days ago, I saw the video from Just Ali that was honestly genius. Um, she picked her and tied her VR with a randomized wheel, but the wheel was randomizing the ways in which she would pick a TBR. So it's not just like numbers or titles, it's ways that you can pick the book. So she had like boyfriend chooses my TBR uh, or a car game. And I thought that was so cool because a lot of the videos in which just there's just a wheel with randomized numbers or titles, they're very fun. I, however, get bored very easily. <laughs> I thought that's a wonderful idea. So I put a little bit <laughs> of a twist to the way that she did it um, but I was incredibly inspired so I'm going to link that video down below she was so so cool I love her channel so in my wheel I put boyfriend chooses dog chooses randomized number a sad book uh, a fave author's favorite book so a author that recommended a book Pinterest chooses which is one of the videos that I've already done I'm going to link it there uh, Instagram chooses a speculative weird book and my friends choose like my best friends uh, can choose a book. I did a little video in which I kind of picked a little bit of the books that I want to read uh, before the end of the year but uh, here are some of them these are the most I think folly fall esque I already had that conversation how do you say that fall core I thought we could choose how many methods have I put in I put like nine or ten i think we can do like eight seven or eight um because i'm not the fastest reader i'm i'm kind of in the middle spin the wheel oh um my favorite author's favorite book that's interesting i i honestly put that there thinking of like blurbs on the cover but maybe uh, i can look up like interviews of one of my favorite authors, maybe like um, Times and Where. Okay, perfect, perfect. In an interview that I found on Tumblr, of all horrible places, obviously, um, she got asked, do you have any queer sci-fi reading racks to tide us over while we wait, wait for Alecto? Which I am, I, I am waiting for Alecto the Nymph. Uh, and she said, Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tash, which is perfect. I loved Silver in the Wood by Emily Tash. It's one of my favorite like niche underground books uh, of a couple of years ago it, it's a novella it's not even a full book and i loved it so much she also says um that book should really be called problematic gaze i have loved which is which is my personality in a nutshell let's spin the wheel one more time and we have oh my friends chooses Perfect. Perfect. Which one? I think I'm going to pick either... I'm going to pick two books and I'm going to like black out the covers, just do colors. Half a Soul, which is, you know, the wonderful Italian edition. And I do have the physical copy of A Fragile Thread. Is that how is it called? They are, I think, similar in vibes. They've both been uh, compared to House Moving Castle. I don't really want to read a book inspired by House Moving Castle. It's not a fragile thread, it's a fragile enchantment by Alison Saft. I was thinking of another Alison Saft book. So I'm going to text my friend and I'm going to put here which one they will pick. Okay, so here's the poll. Uh, we'll have to wait and see because uh, there's three people in this group and one of them is my boyfriend and the other two are my best friends. Usually my boyfriend is the tiebreaker. <laughs> okay, we have the results in this is the winner, which I, okay, I love because I both have the physical copy of the two books and they're both, I think like kind of Regency uh, Fae-esque inspired with a touch of magic. Um, and I really want to see the difference between the two of them, so maybe I read them both, not right now, but one of them. That's what I'm going to read. Spin the wheel! Oh god, that's a sad book. 
I unfortunately already know which book I'm going to pick. Cannot get any sadder than uh, Douglas Stewart books. I read, um, I think, Young Mungo last year. I have a reading vlog for it. Um, it it's probably the saddest book that I've ever read because it's the more realistic. Even though I have read A Little Life, uh, that book is a little less realistic in its portrayal. Um, not in its portrayal of grief and uh, everything that happens in the book, but in the way that it happens. Um, and this is Douglas Stewart's I think earliest book, Shaggy Bane, um, they almost have the same plot, there's a young Mungo, 1981 in Glasgow. We follow Shaggy, who is the youngest brother and uh, the victim of his, I think, oldest sister, Agnes. Um, and he is very polite, he's very snobby, um, but he is also gay and the son of a minor. I already know that this is going to, to, to wreck me from my core, because young Mungo, dead. Like, I, I was crying the way that, you know, you get snot down your nose and you can't even feel it. Let's go again. Wheel. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, randomized number generator. So the, the way that I'm going to do this is I will start from the very tippity top of my bookshelf and just start counting the unread books. I can go like 1 to 15. I don't have many unread books in this house, so I love that the site is called Calculator Soup. Oh, okay, great. I got 50. I got 50. I got 50. I'll start counting and we'll look now. I'll come back. I got incredibly lucky because number 50 is The Vegetarian by Hong Kong. If you don't know, Hong Kong is the first South Korean author to ever received a Nobel Prize for literature. And she received it like last month. That is, I've had this book since release because I got gifted. I don't know how, how, this was some mystical thing going on. Now, Let's once again spin the wheel. I think I am at, I think, four. Uh, let's do seven. Let's do seven. Um, so let's spin the wheel. Oh, yes, speculative weird book. Um, uh, next week, I am going to go on a holiday on a travel to London with my best friends. I only have one series in mind that I want to buy because they have been re-released with different covers and I haven't read them but I've heard that they are very different from the TV show that I just binged and it's the Magician Trilogy by Love Grossman. I loved the TV show even though the last season criminal criminal what they did to my boy Quentin. I am so 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 grateful that I get to read this series and I want to read it while I am in London. Um, it's a fantasy, very weird fantasy story about, it's kind of like they describe it as Harry Potter but goes to American college which is very true. It's a parody of Harry Potter and Narnia all combined into one book, one series. Just so excited. If you haven't watched the series, I highly, highly recommend, especially the first four seasons. Third season is the best. I loved it. Loved it. Hey, another one. Oh God, boyfriend chooses. I don't know how I'm going to do this. My boyfriend are long distance. I think I'm going to uh, call him or text him. And my dog is crouching his butt, obviously. Okay, I think I'm going to have him choose between Luminosa by Jesse Gaynor. The, the original title, I think it's Luminous. Um, no, The Glow. It talks about the wellness industry and about how a, I think a woman gets roped into a snake oil scam. It turns into a cult. Uh, so I picked up because the cover was gorgeous and because the premise sounds bonkers. And I have another book. Um, it's by an Italian author uh, called Alessia Principe. It's called Stelle Meccaniche, which translates to Mechanical Stars. Uh, and this is a book that takes place on a mechanical star, so an artificial star. The Earth 
has been in the hands of the Arcoli, uh, which are kind of spinsters, like the one who spin the wheels. Um, and they have been utilizing crystallized memories at, as energy. There has to be a solution for this colonization of Earth, and it may be in the like the folds of time and space. I have him choose between these two books. So this is the video that he sent me. Sono fighissimi entrambi, però secondo me luminosa. Perché? Perché volevo comprarlo anch'io, adesso che lo leggerai tu, potrei farmi una recensione. He filmed it all in like so close to the camera. He chose the globe by Jesse Gaynor. Um, I'm very happy about it. I haven't read this kind of weird uh, non kind of non-fiction edition book in which they talk about a very non-fiction issue, like a real issue, but in a novelized way. Um, so I'm very, very excited. I think we'll do one more and then the TBR is over. So, spin the wheel one more time. <laughs> okay, Instagram chooses. I uh, don't have a dedicated like book talk, booktube, uh, Instagram account. I just have a a private account in which I'm very embarrassed to say that people from my high school still follow me and I don't really want to expose this channel to them. So what I will do is the thing that I did on Pinterest last time in which I'll just scroll on my For You page and see which book I get first. I think I'll do it on my iPad because it's easier. I'm filming on my phone, so... Okay, it keeps on showing me the Throne of Glass series and just like Sir J Maas books. I don't want to read them. I've already read a bunch of them and I don't like them. So what I'm going to do is just scroll and the first thing that my tiny little finger will touch is the book that I'm going to choose, okay? Uh, this one. I got very, very lucky because I got a, a reel talking about Intermezzo by Sally Rooney. Yes, Intermezzo, which I already wanted to read, so that was perfect. I think that was very fun. That was very fun. I should do this more often. Even though I am a moon reader, so I don't I don't know that I will read all of these books. I am very excited about them, but we'll see. Of the books that I will read in this fall, I don't know if it's going to be November or November and December. First book we have is Some Desperate Glory. Uh, by Emily Tash. It was recommended by Tamsin Moir. It was my favorite author, favorite book. Next we have uh, the wonderful book that my friends chose. They were very cool. Then I have the sad book. <laughs> it will be something. The randomized number book that was such good luck, the Vegetarian by uh, Hong Kong. The speculative weird book that is going to be the Magician Trilogy by Lev Grossman. My boyfriend chooses a book which is going to be The Glow. And last thing is my Instagram chooses which is going to be Intermezzo by Saloon. So happy about this CBR. Ah, uh, that was very fun. Um, so this video ends here. Uh, if you want to connect with me, I have some socials there down below and I'll see you next time, possibly with a reading blog. Possibly I'll be in London. Goodbye! Mwah.